the Australian, the Australian artist Gorgian, which or Gorgian, I should say. Um, has the department been able to confirm the arrest and detention of this individual in Beijing? Uh, Senator, we've been in uh, regular contact with the Chinese authorities since Mr Guo was uh, uh, reported detained on the 1st of June. Um, we've had advice that, in fact, he has been detained. Okay. And uh, this afternoon, um, approximately two hours ago, uh, the Australian um, Embassy officials in Beijing were going to have their first consular access to him. Okay. And, and, and it, can you confirm he's been detained on a, on a visa matter or a matter relating to his visa? We've been <coughs> advised, yes, by the um, relevant Chinese authority that Mr Guo has been detained as a result of a visa irregularity and that as a result of that he has been required to pay a fine and to serve a period in administrative detention. Administrative detention. Um, because I understand he's, he's been living in China for a long time and owns a business there. And I'm, I'm, did, did they say specifically what the visa matter was or is it just a... No, okay. I don't have any further detail, I'm yeah. afraid. Okay, and um, is it a common matter for people uh, to be detained in China on these types of Australian citizens or other citizens for that matter? I wouldn't say it's common, but we have had cases in the past where... Uh, uh, particularly dual nationals, you know, like Mr Guo, are often detained um, oh, okay. because of visa issues. So that's because it's a dual nationality. I wasn't aware of that. Mm. That's likely to be an issue. OK. Um, and have, uh, I'm sorry, I wasn't aware that the Prime Minister had made comments, as Senator Eccleston said, but um, has he received a briefing from you on this, on this issue? Uh, excuse me? Ha has the Prime Minister received a briefing from DFAT? concerning this, the detaining of Guo Jian? Uh, we, we've kept uh, relevant agencies informed of the, uh, the situation facing Mr Guo. Okay. Uh, 